Hi, my health enthusiasts. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ivy, and I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, today, we are going to do my 34 and 35 week update. And it's been a really busy last two weeks for us. And so that's why you guys are getting these together. <laughs> um, and I am in a new spot. I'm in the nursery, but we're actually further from a nursery than we were months ago. And so, my husband, I'm sorry, I can't think. Um, we're actually further from a nursery right now, this far in pregnancy than we were a few months ago. And that's just because like things keep changing and um, yeah, <laughs> they are putting in new carpet into our apartment next week, which I requested in October when I first found out that I was pregnant. And um, all of a sudden they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll put it in. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you want me to move the contents of my entire apartment out when I could basically go into labor anytime now. <laughs> like, I can't decide if it's giving me the ultimate if it's like scratching the ultimate nesting itch or if it is giving me serious anxiety. Either way, I ran it across my husband and I was like, look, this could totally throw me like over the edge or this could be really great and like totally just make me feel really good. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> For those of you who, you know, are really into holistic health, you probably are aware that carpet is like one of the most toxic things ever. Um, and so I'm definitely nervous about that and we're kind of brainstorming of what to do with that. Um, we definitely thought about maybe taking a mini baby moon and like going and staying somewhere and I'll put baking soda down all over the new carpet to kind of absorb some of that and then we will be getting a new vacuum cleaner and get it all taken care of. So there's that option. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's, it's interesting timing to say the least. But anyways, if you guys are pregnant and you're new to my channel, first, hi, uh, welcome. Second, uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm not sure what the future holds as far as what I'll be uploading with the baby. Um, I would like to keep you guys updated, but also I'm, I'm a very private person. And so I don't know how I feel when baby comes. I have a feeling that I'm gonna wanna shut off all my social media and everything. Um, just for like a week or two at least. And uh, we'll see, I, maybe I'll feel completely different. I don't know, I've never done this before. So anyways, let's go through things that I went through this week at 34 and 35 weeks. For those of you who don't know, I'm looking down um, at my app. I use the Bump app, uh, which I love. Also, um, how rad is this chair? I'm like so excited, it's my rocker. I had been I had been looking for this for a long time. I saw a few of them on Craigslist, and by the time I would message the person that was selling them, they had sold it already. So I just kept I just kept missing it, and I was super bummed. And then one day, not one day, I go to the thrift store like every other day. I stop by it because it's right by the gym, and so I'm over there all the time. And I just pop in and peek and get kind of creative sometimes. Um, and I popped in one day and this was there. Not only was it there, but it was half off furniture that day. So I ended up getting it for $25, which I'm so excited. It's exactly the one that I wanted. And um, yeah, so I'm super stoked. It was only $25. A lot of the rockers you see out there, yes, I mean, they have fabric and, and cushiony and all this good stuff, but they're like $300, $400, which is crazy to me. And this, I love and I love the way it looks so I was super excited about that but anyways <laughs> let's get into uh, symptoms and stuff that I felt this last week um, it says that baby is 17.7 inches and uh, 4.63 pounds now originally my midwife had told me that our baby was measuring bigger so I'm not really sure uh, exactly how much our baby weighs. My weight gain the last time we went in was 132 pounds. So I started, I mean, when I knew I was pregnant, I was 100, 
and 14. So I've gained a total of 18 pounds so far. According to them, when I first met my midwife, I was 117. So she thinks that I need to gain a little bit more, but um, I don't think so. <laughs> I, if that's the case, I would have only gained 15 pounds so far. But also, please remember as you're watching this that I'm also very petite. I am 5'2 and just a petite person. So <laughs> me, you know, gaining fluid for the baby and the right amounts of just everything for this baby is is right on track for me, for, for my little frame. So, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> um... I also, those of you who know, I broke my foot, so I can't work out, and I haven't been able to work out. I mean, I've been going. I've definitely been doing, like, floor work, and, like, obviously working on my arms and, and doing, like, leg kicks when I can, um, but I can't walk anymore, and I can't do cardio, and I can't do boxing, and I was doing all of that um, leading up to breaking my foot, so that's been kind of a bummer. Uh, it definitely has allowed me to gain a little bit more weight, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure these last few weeks that I don't just, you know, put on those extra 10 pounds that uh, a lot of women do like right at this stage. So just trying to be cautious and making sure I'm drinking my juice and juice is making me feel really, really good when I drink it. I just chugged a carrot, uh, celery, lemon, and ginger juice and it was really good. Um, okay. So this week, symptoms, things that have happened, I um, have had a lot of cramping. I did have some contractions and that's happening a lot. And that feels like, for those of you that don't know, the uterus kind of suctions around the baby and you can like feel the baby like crazy. Like I will put my hands on my stomach and I can just feel everything. It's so weird. Um, but so that's been happening. Um, peeing a lot. Uh, the night that I was like, I got up a million times, I had drink, drank like a liter and a half of water before bed. So kind of self-induced. Um, what else? It's saying that the baby's listening to conversations and that the baby can remember things. So I've been trying to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider a lot to the baby. Um, what else? We get our strep B test this week. Uh, for those of you who know what that is, or maybe you've had a baby, or maybe you're near me as far as weeks, you'll probably have this coming up as well. Um, and it's just a test that they do to make sure that you don't have this infection that could potentially harm the baby. So um, I get that test Monday, so here in a couple of days. Um, I'll get that. What else? Uh, this says that blurry vision, um, combination of hormones, and buildup of fluid. Today I feel pretty good, uh, but yeah, yesterday I definitely felt like my vision was affected, and the day before I felt like my vision, my vision was affected, so I have been experiencing the uh, emotions and the hormones for sure. Um, I'm like super excited and stoked and can't wait, and then all of a sudden I get really anxious and emotional, and so that's been definitely happening. <laughs> Um, so doing my best to just like make sure that I'm rested and I'm well fed and those seem to be lessened when that happens. So, um, for those of you who don't know, we did go to the Ellen show. I do have a video. I recorded it. It's kind of all over the place cause I was so exhausted and emotional. So hopefully after this video, you guys will be seeing that video. Um, and I'll definitely be putting that up. Um, yes. Okay. So this says constipation and hemorrhoids is going to be a problem. Uh, my uh, bowel has been really, really great. I definitely contribute that to uh, eating really well and really good food. I've been eating at least an acai bowl a day right now and doing at least one green juice, if not one green juice and another juice of some sort. Um, I've been doing sauerkraut and sweet potatoes and definitely doing plant-based the last three weeks for sure. Um, I feel like my vitamin D levels did level out, and so I didn't feel like I was craving salmon or eggs or anything like that, which is really great, and I, I feel wonderful. So uh, plant-based for the win, always. <laughs> um, I've been doing big salads and sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, and um, yeah, and that's been, you know, 
doing really, really well. Um, this has also swollen ankles and feet. Haven't really had much of that, uh, knock on wood. Um, it's been really good so far, and I'm super thankful for that, so hopefully it will stay that way. <laughs> um, this says the pressure uh, lower in your pelvis. I I don't want to say I felt pressure, but um, I definitely the baby's definitely down there. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Like I'll feel the hands just like go across uh, very very low in my abdomen, aka genital area, um, and so that's been really interesting to feel that and and like know the baby moved down there, which is weird because I wasn't feeling that at all before. Um, I will put a clip in here right now. We've been getting really cool clips of the baby moving and so that's been exciting. It's been exciting for Justin to see it and feel it and <laughs> I mean I feel it all the time, you know. Um, so when he gets a chance to just see the foot go across my belly, he's just like, oh my gosh, it's real. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So the pressure. Um, yeah. 34 weeks and then let's go ahead and do 35 weeks. I have had the feeling of um, my leg cramps coming on and so I've just been upping my magnesium and I also think that's been helping my GI as well. So for those of you who are not on magnesium and you're pregnant, I highly recommend it. It's been wonderful for me. Um, basically at this point, I know the baby can come and will be completely fine and healthy um, I don't want baby to come right now because as you can see things are crazy messy and we're just not ready for it <laughs> so I really don't want the baby to come I would rather it stay in there and, and continue to build a good immune system and um, give us th this little bit of weeks with my husband and I so um, but yeah it could come and be fine and that's crazy to me um, this app is saying that I could experience weight gain about a half a pound a week before birth and what's really weird is that a couple of my other books actually have said that a lot of women lose weight at this stage because um, the baby's just so big and they're moving around and yeah so I found that really really interesting that this app is saying I would gain about a half pound a week and my other books are saying um, that I actually lose weight excuse me <laughs> Um, as far as tiredness, I know a lot of women experience extreme tiredness in the third trimester. I really haven't, and again, I contribute that to like, I say that as I just yawned, but I contribute that to um, eating really well. I just, I snack all day. Um, I eat really, really balanced. Um, definitely incorporating more fat right now. Um, my gallbladder seems to be okay. I did have some issues with my gallbladder though the other day, and so I did what I know to do, which is drink um, uh, tart cherry juice, and it seemed to be okay. So yeah. Um, again, this is saying constipation and an increase of contractions, and definitely had an increase of contraction. No constipation, knock on wood. Like, so thankful for that. <laughs> um, and I, again, I contribute that to plant-based. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here and um, tell you guys a little bit about my plan for kind of my diet between now and birth. And that's just to continue with plants, a lot of juices. I already drank a 16 ounce, like I said, carrot and celery juice with lemon and ginger. And I'm going to continue that between now and birth. I'm planning on drinking a lot of coconut water. Um, we're gonna get some fresh Thai coconuts from one of our suppliers uh, from our business. And I'm gonna drink all of those. And um, the dates, dates for some reason, really since like the fifth month, don't sound good to me. Oh, baby's moving. Um, I'm not really sure why, but uh, they just don't. So. But I'm going to try to get those in because I know they're incredible for you. Um, not just for the GI, but the potassium levels in the dates relax the muscles, relax the nerves, and actually helps with uh, labor and delivery. So you're supposed to be eating six a day. So I need to go get some and start eating those every single day between now and birth. Um, my husband travels soon at week 39. <laughs> I know we're crazy, uh, but my mom comes in to stay with me at that time, so um, 
will be fine and if he has to fly back he has to fly back it's no big deal but um it's important that he remains um able to focus on things that are important for him and because we don't even know if the baby's going to come or not so uh yeah so he'll he'll still go on that and um i'll be here with my mom cleaning probably like a crazy person and um yeah anyways thanks for watching you guys and i will see you on my next video bye